Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So glad that you're um, joining me today. Um, it is Thursday and almost the weekend. Now around here the kids are going on spring break and I was trying to think of an idea, you know, that would uh, be great for giving kids, you know, during a break that would be easy to make. So I come up with the idea of using the frozen rolls again. Uh, these are roads that I'm sure any brand would do. Um, but taking those and making bonzo sticks, you know, and all you need pretty much is some string cheese. So, anyway, earlier today I had taken out the uh, rolls to let them rise, but I got busy and yeah, this is what happened. <laughs> I didn't need them quite to rise that much, but I think that we'll be alright and still be able to use them, so we're going to give it a shot. But the other thing, we are going to try and make them in the air fryer. So, hey, this is going to be a double whammy on, you know, a quick and easy um, bonzo bread. So, hey, let's get started. And I'm going to first begin by taking a little bit of flour and putting on my surface. I might as well use this towel that I had over. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit of flour on there. I don't need a whole lot. And I'm going to open the bag of green cheese. Okay, yep. Come on. <laughs> Get this thing. There we go. <laughs> Some of those little beggars are really air sealed tight. So I got string cheese there. So I'm going to grab, go ahead and grab me out, which should have been like one of them. <laughs> so I have a little piece of ball there. I'm going to take that and just kind of spread that out. In fact, I'm going to grab my rolling pin real quick. Just to get it a little bit um, bigger than I could probably get with my hands. Okay, a big here. Right. Now I'm going to take one of the string cheese and try to get the wrapper off of it. There we go. And take the string cheese and roll her up. Like that. Okay. Just about like that. So I have in here the air fryer, which I'm going to take and drop everything. Anyway, I have some spray oil here. I'm going to spray it. Take my bonzo stick and kind of crease the ends a little bit better. Try to shut them if you can. Okay, leave that right in there. And I'm gonna grab me another hunk of that dough here and do the same thing. Just, ah, that one wanted to stick. pen, you know, you can try to find maybe a, a cup, or you can do it with your hands if you want to work with it, but with the rolling pen, it's way simpler. There you go. And we're going to do the same way. Just roll it up and try to stretch the 
gel out to cover the ends of it. Because that cheese is going to goo. <laughs> okay. And yeah, try to get that one clamped a little bit more. Okay, and we're going to do one more here. Like that. If you don't have an air fryer, this can be done in the oven as well. Okay. I mean, all the work is in the bread. It's already made for you. So, let it rise and, you know, add your cheese to it. Now, after they're done, I'm going to Take some melted butter and some garlic and parmesan and we'll finish them up that way. Uh, if I can get the last little cheese thing open, it's because I don't have my eyes on here. Uh, some of them are just a little harder to get apart than others. I probably have the wrong end. Maybe this end. Yeah. Maybe I can try a, a different one. That one don't want to open. Got it open. Okay, we're going to do it the same way. Roll it up. And just kind of crimp the ends of it the best you can. Like that. And I'll also uh, wet the tips of your fingers, which will help glue the ends together as well. See how that just glued it nicely. So I'll check and make sure it's all okay. I got three of them in there. I'm going to go ahead and spray on top. Going in the air fryer. Okay, I'm starting them out at 400 and I'm going to check on them in five minutes. I have it set for five minutes and I'll let you know how long it takes. And when they're done, we'll finish them up. So make sure you stay tuned for these air fried um, dinner rolls. Bonzo sticks. Okay, the bonzos are done. You see those? Okay, take them out of here. I had them in for uh, like five minutes. Then actually, I sprayed them again, and then or flipped them over, and then sprayed them again put them on for like another uh, five minutes. Uh, probably about four minutes. Okay, here I've just got me some melted butter and a little bit of garlic. So I'm going to go over them with the garlic butter. Like that. And I got some of this grated parmesan. Wrong side, here we go. And just gonna sprinkle some of that on there like that. And there you have it. You've got bonzo sticks made in the air fryer. How great is that? Should we break one open? That might be hot. Let me grab a knife. There you have it. You have homemade bonzo sticks made from frozen bread dough. Hey, so simple guys uh, to make your own. 
I know you can get them at the store, but I can tell you, they're not going to be nearly as good as the ones you make at home. So, hey guys, if uh, you want, I can show you one more recipe if you stay tuned. But you got to give me a couple minutes. Okay, I told you I would share another recipe. This is done with the same dough. The same frozen dough. Okay. The only difference is we are going to do this one in the oven. So I've got here like that much dough. That might even be a little bit too much. Let me see what I come up with here. Like I say, we're not going to need much at all. One thing I did forget to do real quick. I should have did fire. Let's turn my oven on to like 400 and I didn't, but I'm going to do that in a minute. I want to show you this. Okay, we're going to make a little personal pan pizza. Here's some, uh, well, it's just great value pizza sauce, nothing special. So I'll put that on there like that. Then I got me some pepperonis. So, you know, these would be also great for the kids' uh, lunch. You can make them ahead of time even and throw them in the freezer. Oh, I better hold off. I forgot to add the cheese. Let me grab that. I got one left in here. I just have me some uh, mozzarella cheese. Just sprinkle it on like that. Now, <laughs> put the pepperoni on, or whatever else you have that you could use. You have ham or bacon. Okay, now, you're just going to put it. I still got to preheat the oven, but I have my pizza pan here. that cute little pizza. Actually, if I had a spatula, that would probably work better. As a, a transfer it. It might work better to uh, put your dough on first. <laughs> and, then, and then your other stuff. So we'll do another one here. I'll grab a little bit more flour. But they make really cute little personal pan pizzas. And all I did was unthaw that dough earlier in the day. And you don't have to do it near as long as I do it. Few more pepperonis for that. You could do them plain cheese, ham, uh, veggie. <laughs> oh, I'll do it again. Yeah, I think it would be better to put your sauce on once you get that on the pan. That's what we'll do with the next one. A little bit of flour. I had to check on these. It's my second batch of bonzos. Uh, I better flip those over. 
they're not it. Ooh, need much more attention here. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to spray them and give them probably two minutes. They don't need much. There we go. Get back here to the pizzas. Oh, I got sauce all over there. I guess it don't matter, right? Okay, I'm going to put this one over here now. Let's spread it out. Go like that. Put some pepperoni on it. Like that. And some cheese. So these are going to go in the oven and let it preheat. But I'm going to put it like at 400 for probably about 15 minutes. But <laughs> so make sure you stay tuned. And I think I have my second batch here. So we might as well, while the oven is preheating, and get this towel moved over. Yeah, I don't want to touch that hot cheese. Got a whole bunch of bonds on six. Grab my butter. Give this a layer. Okay. Ooh, lordy, those are hot. They sure do smell good. They sure do. Okay, and we're gonna put some of that on now. Put some good parmesan. Mm -mm -mm. If you could only smell them there at home. So I'm going to wait for the oven to preheat, throw these in there, and I will show you what they look like when they're done. In fact, I might go ahead and do like one or two more to get on here um, while the oven's preheating. So make sure that you stay tuned. Okay, I had these little personal pan pizzas in the oven. My lighting is so bad with me, and I so apologize. Um, so, I am going to take one off of here. So I had them on 400 degrees, and it was probably closer to 20 minutes. Um, yeah, they look done. So right here you have it. <laughs> you have bonzo sticks that I made first. And then your own personal pan little pizzas that I made out of the Rhodes frozen dough. Which was actually the little round uh, for rolls it is what I use. So... We have bonzo sticks, and we have homemade personal pan pizzas out of just that one batch of frozen dough. And, uh, hey, and then you can take some of your uh, spaghetti sauce that you used for your pizzas and dip your bonzo sticks in them. So, hey, what a easy little thing to put together actually so anyway if you like the video make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel hey you never know what i'm gonna come up with here right so um until the next video guys hope to see you again and tulu have a good night